Hello and welcome to this session Techies. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In this session we are going to talk about managing NFS on Linux or Unix systems using Ansible. Friends, uh, configuring and managing the NFS on enterprise servers is one of the tasks for system admin. And uh, I have found uh, this task we perform many times in a day because NFS is most common file sharing solution across uh, all Unix or Linux servers. Assume a scenario you have to do some deployment for that purpose you need to copy or share file system across multiple systems. Oh, in a manual way you are going to mount the NFS share manually on all the clients. Let's say you got 100 servers. With 100 servers you have to log into 100 servers and mount the file system that is going to take a long time and that may delay your activity right. How if we can use Ansible to perform this thing? For this purpose I have written a small playbook which you can customize further to install, configure or manage the NFS on uh, your systems. In my playbook I have used uh, yum, template, service and file modules. Along with these modules I make use of uh, variables to make this demo playbook more efficient. Friends, uh, this playbook is for demo purpose only. If you are looking to use this playbook in your production setup, test it thoroughly and use it at your own responsibility. So let's begin technical session friends. Here this is my Ansible master server and uh, let me show you my static inventory file. I'm already in etc Ansible which is a primary directory for uh, Ansible. Let me show you master, sorry, inventory file. If you see I got two servers in nfs underscore server group I got the IP of server which I am going to configure as nfs server. The other group is nfs underscore clients it got uh, one IP which is my nfs client and I got uh, one common group which got uh, both nfs master and nfs server. Sorry nfs master, nfs server and nfs client. Sorry for that. Okay, so let me show you my playbook now. Okay, in my playbook friends, uh, I got a uh, very basic configuration, so you can easily understand it. In host, I got all become underscore user root. In variable, I got three variables, nfs underscore mount point, which is slash nfs mount. This is the mount point on client side to mount NFS and NFS server this is my NFS server as I mentioned you in, in inventory we already defined it NFS export this is NFS export which will get shared from NFS server this mount point already exists uh, I can show you this thing and in tasks I got uh, first task to ensure the NFS packages are installed in rel 7 we need NFS dash utils for both NFS server and client. So I have made this role common. I'm using two tags, NFS underscore client and NFS underscore server. So with this tag, this particular package will get installed. I believe you are aware how yum module work. Name, state, with item mean, uh, that's a standard loop. You can directly say NFS utils here, but uh, I like to use a standard module because in that way you can uh, append this configuration if you need more packages. Okay, next task is to copy etc export which is the file which is used or contains in information about the file system to be shared on NFS server. I'm using a source as a template slash export dot j2. Export is file with j2 extension. j2 means Jinja2. So this file got uh, dynamic data which we can change or we can uh, customize using variables and for this purpose I'm using template module. This is my destination etc exports on a need to be root, group need to be root, mode need to be 755 and it got tag nfs underscore server and copy export. So whenever I call this playbook or run this playbook I can use if I use this tag this particular task will get executed. If I use this tag so whatever the task code this particular tag they will get execute. For example this also got this tag so this will also get execute and I have used this particular tag uh, in the below tasks also so they will also get execute. 
next task I'm ensuring my NFS service is started so I'm using service module name is equal to NFS state is equal to restarted you may be thinking why I have used it restarted not started reason behind let's say NFS service is already running and you deploy new etc exports file by template module this this is source so to reread the configuration or the new file systems name inside your file we have to restart our NFS service that's the reason I'm choosing restart it here enable yes mean this service will be enabled so it can automatically start it on server boot now this is my NFS client configuration I'm saying uh, create mount point for NFS so I'm using file module path is NFS mount which is variable I just uh, discussed state need to be directory this is mode this is owner and tag is NFS client okay so directory is created now let's mount the file system for this purpose I'm using mount module I'm saying name is equal to NFS mount point okay then source SRC is source NFS server colon slash NFS export uh, these are the variables if you're getting confused NFS server slash this particular NFS share next thing FS type is NFS options I'm saying default comma RW comma B, BG RW mean read write BG mean background so there are two options FG or BG FG mean foreground if NFS is not working due to some reason your uh, system will not come up if that is defined in FS tab because that becomes mandatory file system if you mention BG that can be mounted in background so that's not a critical in that case so dump 0 pass now 2 state is equal to mounted tags NFS client so what it will do it will it will mount the NFS share as well as it will update the FS tab file so let me quit from here now let me show you my NFS client configuration now Ansible minus M let me use shell module minus a argument I'm saying run bf minus h on NFS underscore client this was my group inside my static inventory if you're thinking what is NFS underscore client so we got output if you see there is no NFS mount point mounted NFS mount is the mount point which will get mounted once NFS is there okay so let's run this playbook first let's configure our NFS server and uh, let me show you because this is the server 1.140 which I'm going to configure as uh, my NFS server let me uh, okay so let me show you current configuration export FS minus V if you see right now there is no NFS here so through Ansible let's configure this server as NFS server now Ansible playbook is the command to execute playbook playbook name is NFS management dot YAML here I'm saying uh, do use tag minus T NFS underscore server and uh, limit it minus L is for limit on uh, NFS underscore server group okay so let's run this command okay setup is completed if you see it checked for NFS packages they are already installed that's the reason uh, it is saying okay here next task was to copy the ginger 2 template to etc exports it got copied let's verify contents if you see these are the contents that's good then start the NFS service it also changed it means service is restarted let's very validate now export FS minus V okay that's good if you see this mount point is now shared to this client which is uh, our requirement so it mean uh, NFS server configuration is done and NFS service is started okay so let's do work on NFS client now here sorry clients this is the group name for NFS clients and here tag is NFS client pressing enter here 
let's see what happens okay it is checking and installing nfs packages i believe on my client right now packages are not available so it may take some time but Ansible will install uh, NFS packages for us. If you see that is changed, it means packages got installed. After that, it created mount point. That's the reason it is showing yellow. Then uh, it updated the FS tab and mounted the NFS share. So let me read on this command which I executed uh, some time back. If you see this time, this is my client, right? 1.5, it got NFS share mounted. So you can uh, see like how easy it to manage NFS server and NFS client using Ansible within I believe uh, these three four minutes uh, we were able to do everything along with the uh, all the discussions what we defined in uh, playbook so if you got thousand servers that is going to take maximum five minutes I believe less than five minutes so you can utilize Ansible for these type of task so thank you for watching this video if you have any query any suggestion or any other input for me just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you friends bye bye